If the spool is dry, but the O-rings appear in good condition, you can re-lubricate the spool by inserting it back into the pump again. Often this is all that is needed to fix this problem. If this does not resolve the false cycling issue, it may be necessary to replace the O-rings. For full instructions on this entire procedure, watch the video lesson titled, Maintaining the Air Drive Cycling Valve. Here is an example of worn O-rings. The O-rings lack roundness and appear flat. The spool is also dry and requires lubrication. Replacement of O-rings is recommended. To replace the sleeve O-rings, install the four new O-rings by sliding them over one end and working them down so they sit properly in the four grooves on the sleeve. The O-rings should not be twisted or rolled when seated properly. All four O-rings are the same size and can be replaced in any order. The new O-rings and sleeve should be re-lubricated before reinstalling into the pump. To replace the spool O-rings, install the eight new O-rings by sliding them over one end and working them down so they sit properly in the eight grooves on the spool. The O-rings should not be twisted or rolled. All eight O-rings are the same size and can be replaced in any order. To reassemble the air cycling valve assembly, take the bumper that fits on the end of the sleeve. This bumper has a rubber side and a stainless steel side. Place the rubber side facing up into the sleeve. Next. Re-lubricate the spool with the new O-rings and reinsert it into the sleeve. The bumper and spool and sleeve assembly may now be reinserted back into the pump.